300,000 people will suffer an arm amputation this year. The prosthetics available to them can cost up to $60,000. And medical experts have informed us that it can take users up to three, three to six months to learn how to control these arms because the controls consist of unintuitive electronic switches and awkward muscle contractions. And maintenance is a major issue as well. One of our alpha users has one of these robotic arms, but only three, four months after he received it, he had to ship it back to the manufacturer for repairs. And he waited three months to get his arm back. These are common problems with prosthetics, which is why we're building the Axo Hand. Our patent pending bionic hand offers a better user experience for a quarter the cost of the top prosthetics. Our modular design lets users or clinicians swap replacement parts on the fly, eliminating lengthy repair cycles. Our simplified design allows us to use high quality components in our manufacturing and offer a hand for less than $15,000. This is not a cheap 3D printed hand. And our machine learning algorithms create custom controls based on the user's nervous system, allowing the user to control our hand more like a natural limb. This is Will. Will learned how to control this system in a day with fine finger movements, not in the months that it takes for other prosthetics. And our users told us that they've been able to form movements they didn't think would ever be possible for them. And our device is not a one-time sale per customer, as every three years on average, prosthetic users get a new device, allowing us to have recurring revenue from BP customers. And we've developed this with our 30 years of experience in prosthetics. My co-founder, Dr. Ning Jiang, is one of the world leaders in prosthetic control. We also have a team of brilliant advisors who have backgrounds in machine learning, business, and legal. Since we're last at Velocity, we've raised over $60,000. and We're currently working with a local clinic to fit our bionic arm to our alpha users in the next three months. The funding from Velocity will help us to complete a critical FDA gap analysis, which will give us a clear roadmap between now and our FDA submissions in 12 to 14 months. Now, the FDA process sounds painful and expensive, but we're able to compare our robotic hand to other already approved robotic hands on the market in a fast-tracked, less expensive medical approval process offered by the FDA called a 510K. And through this process, without any clinical testing, we could have an approved arm on the market in three to six months after submission. We are Brink Bionics, and we're making disabilities obsolete. Come check out our technology at our booth. Thank you.